everybody, it's Kat from Creative Crafts. Today's DIY recycling project is going to be working with old CDs. I had, was in the basement, cleaned up, and I found all these useless CD, CDs. I don't like throwing things away, so today we're going to be doing a recycling. If you want to know exactly what we're doing, then watch further. Okay, if you want to know how to take this part off of the CD, it's very easy. Normally it should be easy. What you could do is just stick some nice strong tape on it. Let's stick this here for now. Make sure you um, rub it in good. It depends on what kind of tape you use, but it should come off. Someone told me that we should go like this and then use the tape. See if this works. There you go. It's very easy. See? This is how you can get all the color from the CD off. Make sure you don't stick um, a big gash like I did here. I did it very deep. So now you have a mark on there. So you could still use it. But this is one of the ways on how you can now take off the colors off, off the CDs. If you have a hard time getting it off like I did, like I said, you make a st small slit inside the area. It doesn't have to be as big as I did. It can be a small one. Once it starts getting coming off, then it should be easier to come off. So let's try the other tape. like here do this there you go next one there you go it's all off now and what you do is you take a small piece of tape I'm gonna get this one again because it's easier to rip off just take it and go to the ends and get every bit of that color off. <clears throat> so once I did that, what I did, what you're gonna do is now is cut the CDs, and how we're gonna cut them is like this: you take it and make a circular motion. looks like that like a leaf and you go all the way around you can make them as big as you want I try to make them as big as I can get it go slowly be careful because you can cut your fingers you get sharp after a while and just keep going so as you see here I have all this extra so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all this off. You can make a circle. Make sure you have really good um, scissors. You do it like this. If you can see it. And then once you get everything you need, you can save these pieces too. Because you can make a mosaic out of these extra pieces, color them, and what you do is you put them in the oven with um, 170, not for too long. You When you use the oven, make sure you have your window open and it's well ventilated because there is a smell when you, when you start melting the CDs in the oven. Make sure you put bake paper underneath it or something like I have here. I bought this at a store. And it's one of these bake cookie sheets, it's plastic kind of, like silicone. And you could do that, you could put the, like you see here, I put the thing on top of there and made my design. You can take one of these and say, okay, it's a picture frame. And you say, okay, maybe I want to make a heart. So what you can do is do this, make your heart out of these little round circles. 
and then put it in the oven. Make sure it's on a baking sheet with this on the bottom. And like I said, bake it till whatever you want, how long you want. You can make them all red, color it first, and then just, you don't glue them or anything. You just stick them next to each other, really as close as you can, and then make your design and put it in the oven. That is a very quick tip for what you can do with a lot of these extra CD pieces. And this is what I did with this. Just wanted to show you what you could do. So now what you're gonna do is, I don't know if I have the CDs in here. I'm gonna check out. If I have the pieces in here. Yes, I do. I have a few. I have a few pieces where I colored it. I just wanted to show you. I made some little, and this is just with normal. I mean, with these ones, what I did is I didn't take this off. So it has like little that little effect here on it that you see. Painted it with paint very lightly. And that's what you get. You stick these in the oven also, let them bake, and then you have little blocks. You can make them smaller if you want. If you want to make a mosaic, like I said, this is how you can do it. I like this little design on this one. And this is what you can do too. There's just three different things you can do. You can do this, do this. And I did this. So now what I'm gonna do is show you when you do certain CDs, they break very easily. They're very, they're real thin. So I wouldn't suggest to make the leaves out of the ones that are thin. These are the ones that I use to make the leaves with. And it's very easy to make. How you're gonna do that is, I'll take a good one. And then I start from one end and cut. And what's so cool about this, the CD bends on its own as you can see here. Then you do the other side. Try not to go too close to the other one or it breaks. You can try to make it as thin as you want. I try to make sure the lines go as inside as much as you can. Here I did it too short. But I would go as all the way as in as far as I can. Try not to make sure you don't connect them together because then that's when this the leaf will break. There you go. And this is how you can make a cool leaf from a CD. Very easy. And what I did here is I connected a whole bunch of them together and I glued them and this is one of the CDs that were like a golden color. I just cut the ones that didn't have any writing on it and used it as the middle piece of this flower. Um, I wanted to make a little thing to hang in the window. Uh, you can use it for outside because it's waterproof. When you glue everything together, please make sure you use a good glue. Hot glue sometimes can, they come off very easily with hot glue. So I would suggest that you not to use hot glue, use some kind of like uh, E6000 and that will be, you know, really good to use and you know that it's stable. You can do this and what you can do is maybe stick something around in here that turns and you can make your own little wind, flower wind thing. I forgot the name of it. I'm, I guess I'm stupid. So this is what you could do with this one. Or you can just make a little design, like I said, and stick them on there color the leaves different colors and then do your own little design here if you want. Make, you can make anything out of this. A 3D picture, you can do whatever you want. This is just a little tip on what you could do with the CDs. There's, the options are huge. <coughs> Let me show you one more time how to cut this. So you see, 
go downwards just like a feather how they would look and as you go into the middle you go as you go down this way you go even deeper and then once you start going towards the end you come back in you don't cut so deep then you cut shorter the same thing goes for this side You have to be really careful on how you hold your scissors too because if you bend the scissors while you're cutting you will crack the CD and there you go here's another leaf it's very easy all kinds of recycling ways how you can reuse your CDs you can make also um, What do you call it? Something for when you want to use, make your little um, coasters. That's what it's called. I've been in Germany too long. Some of my English words I forget. You can make nice co co uh, coasters out of these. What you can do is, like I said, take the color off or pull the, the tag off with the tape. Like I said, first you cut it a little bit, just very lightly, not so deep like I did. And then what you do is take it all off and you can paint it, paint little designs on it. So what we could do is, I suggest that you, you would use, I would use nail polish, because nail polish will actually um, stick better onto it once you put it in the oven and bake it. Like I said, when you bake the CDs, make sure you have it, your windows open, well ventilated, and that you keep an eye on it. Don't leave the kitchen. Keep an eye on it. And then I think you leave it in there just until you notice that it starts to melt a little bit. Once it starts, you see that it's melting together. If you make like a picture like I did with that, this thing here. Then you can, um, it's like I said, you see this all melting all together like this. Make sure you don't leave it in too long. If you leave it in too long, then you get these little bubbles in the um, plastic and you don't want that. So... Just keep an eye on it. Sometimes it needs 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, maybe less. You have to keep your eye on it. It depends on what oven you have. So you can either use the normal or the air ventilator oven pot. It doesn't matter, but just like I said, as you have these in the oven, please make sure it's well ventilated. It will have a smell. So prepare yourself with that. And this is a just, like I said, quick DIY, what you can do with old CDs. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and wait for my next one. So next step, everybody, is making your project or whatever you want to do with it. I decided to make some little flowers like this. You don't have to make the flowers. You can just, you can even make your own um, windmill, whatever you want to do with it. You can do anything you want. And it's very simple. You can make pictures, you can do any other kind of designs. Like I said, with the mosaic tiles, you can make those too and just make a picture frame, put it on a picture frame and glue it on there and it should look awesome. So this is, this is very short. I don't want to make such a long video. Um, so I just want to make sure that you see exactly how fun it is and how you can actually recycle old CDs and make something really nice with them so you not throw them away so it doesn't ruin the environment. This is, like I said, I love it. And this is my project for today. I hope you enjoyed it, what I did. And if you have any questions or comments, please write them below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do on that button on the side. And come back again for the see the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.